This video will guide you on how to maintenance a module that is on a Fleet Flex electrical system. Before servicing the module, be sure to unplug the spreader from the vehicle. There is some residual voltage left in the harness even with the vehicle turned off. The small voltage can cause a power surge in the module while working on the components in the electrical box. One of the best ways to troubleshoot spreaders is to test for continuity on the harness. Set your multimeter to the audible ohm setting and then touch the leads together to make sure the meter is set up correctly. For demonstration purposes, these harnesses have been removed from the spreader to show how to do a continuity check. The harness shown for this example is the module to spreader harness. This is the ground loop that tells the module if the harness is disconnected to activate dump mode. Repeat this procedure for the other connections as well. This next harness is the spinner drive harness. Just touch the two prongs that are parallel to each other to test for continuity. Ensure that dielectric grease is applied to all electrical connections. Before plugging the spreader back into the vehicle, ensure that the hardware for the power connections are securely tightened to the studs. And don't forget to check under the fuse holder cover. The module power studs are not for accessories and should not be used to power anything else other than the module itself and should not be tampered with. If, for example, the spinner plate is rotating in the wrong direction, the wires should be switched at the connectors, not at the module. Do not swap wires at the module. We hope that this quick video gave you a better understanding on what to look for when troubleshooting a module. Thank you for watching.